everybody. Welcome back to Alpha Mods. Today we're going to be installing the Madness Go pedal. So let me go ahead and start off by just saying I finally have a garage. So this is a huge, huge deal for me. If you watched my previous videos, I've basically been doing everything completely without a garage. So just being able to have the space in the area, and I still have to get everything in place, but I mean, this is absolutely amazing to me because I'm used to doing everything on a dirt road and having the ability to work on the car in any weather and everything like that. It's like a totally new concept to me. So. This is really, really awesome. I'm glad I get to share this with everybody who watches Alpha Mods and everybody who watches my installs. I really think we're gonna be able to get a lot of new things done. And I'm super excited. eBay bidding kind of situation. I managed to secure myself. Let's see if I can get it out. The Go Pedal. So I managed to pick this up for about half price and uh, I'm glad I did. So we'll get this installed and uh, I'm going to give some impressions and kind of a short overview because I'm going to make this into two videos, one being primarily focused on installation and the other being focused on, you know, driving and enjoyment. So got some wind out here today, but I'm excited for this. Okay, everybody. So back to the install. So today we're going to be putting in the Madness Go pedal. And the first thing you're going to want to do is pop into the cabin here, pop the trunk. We're going to then proceed to come to the back. Find this connector here. It's a pinch and pull. That way we disconnect the battery and we put the car asleep while we're doing the rest of the install. And then you're going to want to come back down here. We're going to be removing this cable here. And I do want to point out that the main reason that we're disconnecting the battery is so that we don't get any faults that we can't just clear on our own. So you don't need to have a computer or anything like that. You'll be able to just hop in the car, do the steering wheel to the left, steering wheel to the right, and then be good to go. Okay, so from the looks of it, what I'm going to be unplugging today is this right here. I'm going to try to do it with my hand. Yeah, it looks like I can do it with my hand. All right. So once that's out, you're going to take the madness end of it, plug that in there, and then this is going to go back where your stock piece is going to go. So it's going to be a little bit hard to do that with one hand. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is plug everything up and then we'll get right back to it. Okay, so what I've noticed from this install already is you might want to find some place to uh, put this where it's going to be out of the way of the accelerator pedal. Um, that was the easiest thing I've ever done <laughs> as far as like an install mod. So if everything works and it's gets a decent result this is the easiest mod that i've done i mean i literally took 30 seconds to unplug and replug in this new part so now that we're satisfied with the install we're going to go back into the rear of the trunk you're going to want to take the negative quick disconnect and put it right back in place giving power back to the rest of the car
I take that back. Every time you disconnect that battery, you have to do this. Okay, other than me not refueling my car after a day or so, um, looks like the install went well. Let's see if the go pedal is turning on and we've got power. Nice. So it looks like it has different modes, digital throttle control and module. All right. So I'm guessing that this is gonna be your lowest function this is going to be more of your sport, and this is going to be more your race, and that's going to be stock. So I'm going to go ahead and start somewhere there, and then I guess you get three settings intermediate in between. Um, so I guess it has a lot of, well, I guess being able to cycle through the different functions and adjusting to your likeness. And I think I'm going to really enjoy that. I'm glad that the install went smoothly. I mean, there was no major issues at all. I just have to find a mounting point. I know some people have put it up here. Um, I'm gonna find somewhere where I can easily reach it. Again, if I ever need to go to the dealership, I can pull this out in mm, less than a minute. It's super easy to install. So I'm really thankful that I got this. And I guess we'll go for a short drive to see how it goes. And I'll be making another video soon on which setting is I prefer and do a couple of zero to 60s and see if it's made an overall difference. So yeah, I think it's time that I uh, give a car a, wash. a good wash. It deserves it. Okay, so now I let my car warm up a bit and I've been driving it for a little bit. It's in a, it's medium setting, so it's not like gonna be completely in the race modes, but I'm in dynamic right now. And it doesn't change anything with your dynamic, your neutral, or your A. Just the throttle response is much more instantaneous. I mean, I don't have to, like, really jab it down to get the car to upshift and to overtake. So just a quick example of that. I think I'm doing about 60 right here and just a little bit. I mean, it's such a slight throttle and I'm already going. This thing just, man. I'm really impressed with this thing. I haven't even had a chance to put it in race mode or, or in the highest settings or anything like that, but the throttle response is well worth um, what I paid for it. I think even if I was gonna buy this thing new, um, I definitely would say it's worth the 200 and something dollars. And there's a lot of products out there that, I mean, I had one for my Camaro that was kind of like a pedal controller as well, but this thing by far outperforms that. And I mean, in the aspect that this is for a turbocharged car and for some reason it feels like it relieves the turbo lag that you have. Like it just wants to go. That is too cool. So this is just my first impression on this, and I can say, like, wow, this thing is really cool. Um, if you go into the higher modes, it's almost too much, but I think you'll find a nice middle ground right there. Um, I still have to mount it up, and I just washed off the car. Man, that car even looks so nice with Koshi. But I just washed off the car and I just wanted to do a little walk around. Boy, I love seeing this carbon. Kochi really does make some really nice quality stuff. And then of course I've got the OEM spoiler, which really complements that entire QV style look. Very happy overall with the build that I've gotten to this point. And um, I think I'll keep experimenting with it and I'll be making another review video for this Madness Go pedal.
Um, thanks everybody for watching. That new house, Bubba? Good. So today we're going to be taking the car back and it looks really nice after a wash. Excited to get back home. Say bye to everybody, Jesse. Say bye-bye.